with a a beer review. I have with me from Wild State Cider. I have the Blueberry Maple Cider at a 6.4 ABV. Apples, blueberries, and Minnesota maple syrup. Maple season is the special time of the year when Minnesotans collectively pretend spring is here. Cold nights and warmer days are prime conditions for maple sugar makers. The dark and robust maple gives blueberry maple its signature sweetness. Best enjoy during an unexpected spring blizzard. Crafted without concentrates, contains sulfites, gluten free. Well, a lot of ciders tend to contain sulfites anyway, kind of like how a lot of craft meat does as well. So, <clears throat> quite curious. It's also on the sweet side on the scale. Ooh. If I wasn't holding the glass. Look at that color. You'd almost think you're drinking a rosé or, uh, yeah, rosé, just from the look of it. Um, definitely has its usual cider um, hue to it. What, if I want to say it, it I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to ciders, much like meads, where meads were honey are the base, ciders, apples are the base, but you can always add up, add to the um, flavor profile of ciders. This is just one of many examples. I have another one tomorrow. Not bad. It's really not that bad. Um, cats try and get involved. Um, but I do apologize for that. I get the um, blueberry maple at the end, but it's predominantly the apples, which. Don't get me wrong, it's, it is fantastic, it's definitely a sweet cider, but you don't get, I was more looking for like the, looking forward to the blueberry maple. I feel like they didn't add enough blueberries, and another thing is, you have to add a lot of blueberries, a lot, more than you think, to actually get the flavor to pop up. And that's actually a known fast for uh, craft breweries in general. The maple I didn't think would uh, not come up. Now, for the dry and sweet scale, it's... Almost up there for sweet, but I still like a good cider, and these weren't that expensive, to be honest, for a uh, two-pack that I got. Yeah, I get it at the end. I don't get it in the immediate. Kind of like an aftertaste of blueberry and maple. It's still good. I mean, I at least rated a four. Um, but otherwise, probably not. It's still good. It's still a good. It's still a good cider. I mean, for those who are fans of cider in general, you're gonna enjoy it. But the extra flavors, you're gonna get more of like an aftertaste that stays in your mouth than um than immediate for a mouthfeel. Okay, that's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna be as honest as possible. Would I drink this again? I mean, I wouldn't buy it on my own, but if it was presented to me, yes. I mean, I have 6.4 ABV for a cider. It's not bad, but still, yeah. Either way, I hope you all like this uh, short review. I do a lot of uh, reviews like this on Saturdays, by the way. Saturdays is when I have my beer stream on Twitch. It's always at 6 p.m. Central. Uh, me and uh, my good friend Haru, we both reviewed, tend to try to review the same ones. We do get two different opinions. Sometimes our opinions collide, but 
Like this past Saturday stream, I thought that stream went pretty well. So until next time, folks, I've been Zara. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Always leave me feedback so that I can provide more quality content for all of you. Until next time.